Hello guys and welcome back to Makeup FOMO. Today we are doing uh, something a little different than what I have done on my channel before. And since we just moved into our new house, I have a lot of, as you can see behind me, organizing, decluttering, stuff like that to do. So as I was unpacking all my makeup and putting it into my Alex drawers, I decided to film that, kind of show you how I was organizing it, kind of starting from scratch, like my drawers were literally empty. So basically in this video I'm going to show you how I organized it. I decluttered it a little bit. It's kind of like an organization and declutter basically in one. Um, and I mentioned this later in the video, but I'm going to do my eyeshadow palettes separately just because A, this video is probably already very long and B, the eyeshadow video is going to be super long. So I figured rather than like a two hour video, I would just do basically all my makeup now and then just save the eyeshadow palettes for a separate video. So, so stay tuned for that. That will be coming definitely after this, but it will be coming. So now we're going to get into all the mess of makeup that I have. And I'm going to show y'all how I decluttered and organized it. All right, guys. So we are going to get started. This is the current situation of all my makeup um that's actually all nail polish in that box and then there's makeup in there makeup in there this purple thing is all palettes just eyeshadow palettes and then that bag right there just has all foundations in it okay so this is currently what my lift drawer looks like i left these in here whenever we moved the drawers so like as you can see everything is just a hot mess all in here so I need to obviously organize this and then there's even more lip products that I just put in this bag <laughs> so a lot of lip products in store in here I have my little organizers so this is gonna be a project let's do it just ignore the mess over here everything in here right now I'm pretty sure is just lipsticks and liquid lipsticks I'm pretty sure everything in that bag is like glosses and stuff so at least we kind of have things categorized so it's really just a matter of getting all this into this. All right, so liquid lipsticks and like bullet lipsticks are all organized and they all fit in that basket So that is a success <laughs> So now with these two other baskets I'm going to sort my Lip glosses I think this is almost all lip glosses and then some um, bullet lipsticks and then some like sample size stuff as well like little trial sizes Okay, so this is what we're working with so far. As y'all saw, this is lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, lip glosses. These are some more like bullet lipsticks that are like round. Like these are all square, so they stack. Well, except for this one. These are all square, so they stack really easily. These are like round bullet lipsticks, so they don't stack quite as easily, so I keep them in their own bin. And then over here is just a bunch of like, you know, little sample size lippies that kind of just get lost in that. These just are so little, like look how little this is. <laughs> so these just kind of get lost in the mix in those tins. So I keep those over here. Um, and then I took out a couple different things up there that I'm not sure if I'm gonna be keeping those. So I'm gonna swatch them real quick and then see if I'm gonna wanna declutter those or not. So here are some swatches I did. There's definitely some of these that I just know like I'm not gonna wear, like this gold shade right here at the bottom um, and like those hot pinks, like those Barbie pinks. So these are gonna go into the donate slash get rid of box. All right, so this drawer needs help. This basket and this, I left this in here, which is why it's like all over the place. These are like mascaras, eyeliners, just some like eye stuff, like my Nick's glitter glue. 
some brow stuff. It's kind of a mix. Um, and then this bin, which is also in here, is... Uh, I've been, like, putting this off. But this has, like, a lot of these, like, little quads and, like, trios. And, like, uh, the original, like, you know, drugstore palettes that we all used to use. And I don't use these anymore at all. Like, I just don't reach for them. And they're definitely old, as you can kind of tell. Like, I think I've had this since probably high school. But I just can't bring myself to, like, part with some of these. Just because they're, like, nostalgic. And I know that's stupid. Like, I don't even know when's the last time Urban Decay sold these, like, individual shadows like this. Like, look. This is a little individual shadow with a mirror. Like, I think I've had these since probably 7th or 8th grade, and I'm 26 now. So, like, some of this stuff is just old, but I've just had it forever, and it was, like, literally the first couple things in my collection. So, I really do need to go through and, like, get rid of this stuff, but it's hard. Um, so, I'm going to try. Let's see how I do. Down. Try to keep me down, but I'll put the flame out, you can't get to me Throw your sticks and your stones, go break all of my bones You won't ache my soul, you can't get to me And there is no barricade that I can't tear away Shoot me down the fire away, away But I Okay, so I've narrowed my Wet n Wild palettes just to three of them. These are just so good that I can't bring myself to get rid of every single one. But I'm going to keep the Petal Pressure just because this is a really nice purple palette. The Cool is a Cucumber because this is really nice greens. And I just feel like I don't have a ton of greens or purples in my collection palette-wise. So I think those are valuable. And then I'm going to keep this, um, what was this called? I'm getting Sunburned. This just has a really pretty gold shade in it that I love. So I'm going to keep that one. This might be kind of weird, but I feel like y'all definitely might be able to relate at least a little bit. These two little palettes, this is CQ. So I don't even know what that brand is, but I got this in like a Secret Santa in like sixth grade or something. It was literally my first like eyeshadow palette. As you can see, like I hit some serious pan on it. And I think I got this one in the same Secret Santa. This one I hit like pan on this one and these all have, it might be hard to tell, but these have like serious dents in them. These are literally the first two makeup products I ever used. This doesn't even have anything on the packaging anymore. It's rubbed off. Oh. It's Bonnie Bell. Eyeshadow box. Eye style shadow box. In girly pinks. As you can see, like, this has seen better days. But I don't use these anymore. But these are just so nostalgic. So I literally cannot get rid of them. I will not get rid of them ever. So I'm actually really proud of this drawer. I think that this looks 100 times better than it did, and it's actually kind of organized. So, excuse the swatches on my hand. But what I decided to do is keep all my eyeliners, liquid, and pencil here. Um, I only have one gel liner, so I have that here. And then I put eyebrow pencils. So basically, eye pencils, eyebrow pencils. And then I just kept um, a couple pairs of my lashes over here. So I think that's pretty well organized. And then in this bin, I'm just going to keep my mascaras, which I have way more mascaras than this. Some of them are just in my makeup bag right now. But I'm going to keep my mascaras and my eyelash curler here. And then just a couple of those like single shadows and stuff that I decided to keep, I'm going to keep in this like second half. And then I just kind of have the glitter separating the two. So this is kind of just a pretty much an eye slash eyebrow drawer. I've actually decided to get rid of a ton of stuff that was in those drawers. Um, so just some like mascaras that are dried out. And um, like a gel eyeliner that's dried out. 
just some of these single shadows um, that I just don't ever, ever, ever reach for. Some of them are also just like colors and stuff that I don't think I'm going to use much. So yeah, this whole pile right here is going to go in my like either throw away, donate, give to someone box. All right, y'all. So this drawer is going to be very, very difficult because this is foundations and powders. Um, I just took all my powders out and put them up here for now. Um, I store my foundations in like this little drawer divider thing and then I push it back and I put my powders right here in front. So I'm going to do my foundations first. I counted when I packed that bag up and I think I counted like 56 or like 58 foundations. Like I have a shit ton of foundation and I know I don't need all of it. I know some of it's old, stuff like that. So I'm going to hopefully get rid of some foundations. Um, but I really like foundation so it's going to be a little hard for me but I'm going to try. serious progress and I know this is still a lot and like this is double layered like there's two layers of foundation here so this is actually pretty decent but this is not all my foundations I have some down here so these are some of the ones that I didn't put in the drawer just because I think some of these are either old or I'm not really sure how I feel about them like I have no idea if I even like this Ulta dummy matte foundation I think I've worn that like once or twice some of these Revlon um, like color stays I haven't worn these in a long Long time so I want to see if I even still like these or if the shades even work for me at all like I said earlier I do have like a makeup bag set aside that I've been using like for before we moved and during we moved because all this was packed away so I probably honestly have like five or six foundations um, that will need to end up back in here because I am currently using them so I definitely have the room for them now like before this was completely 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 full and I couldn't even like shut the drawer and I still had the ones I was currently using so this is really good progress I'll see how I feel about these and then I'm gonna swatch some of them too and then I'll probably end up either maybe keeping some or just getting rid of a lot of them okay so I think this is looking very good for me I know it's still a lot but for me this is good <laughs> so I'm gonna push this back and now I need to sort through these powders and hopefully get them all to fit in here so as y'all can see I'm like basically out of this this is the NYC BB powder and I, or it's called BB Radiance, actually. And I got this, like, randomly on a whim years ago, I think at Walmart, and fell in love with it, as you can tell. And then I went to reorder it whenever I saw it got super low, and I realized they don't make it anymore. And I literally fell in love with it, and then I just saved it and stopped using it because I was like, I can never get this again. But I think at this point, it's kind of time to part with it. But if y'all know of anywhere that sells this or like anywhere to get this or if they do still make it, please let me know because I like miss it. Okay, that was kind of a jigsaw puzzle, but I got all of the powders to fit right in this little area. So I think this drawer actually looks awesome. Everything fits perfectly and it closes. So that's super exciting. So this is obviously like my face drawer. So the next drawer we have kind of a weird mix of stuff, um, but starting with concealers, I have this whole entire thing is full of concealers. There's gotta be like 40 concealers in here. So not bad here, this is what I'm keeping. So everything fits a lot nicer in here now. And it's not, you know, quite as overflowing. I'm not getting rid of a ton. I'm just getting rid of a couple of these e.l.f. ones. This one, I actually used a lot of this. I don't know if you can tell, but like, 
this is way underneath this I probably use like half of this but it's just a little old and it's just really waxy these two products are just about empty so I'm actually just gonna go ahead and like put these out with my current makeup and try to use them up just because there's really not a ton left so I might as well just use them up. So next up is primers. I've just dumped them all out here and I have my little basket. I actually keep my Cody Airspun powder in my primer basket just because this is so freaking big. I literally have nowhere else that it fits. In here I keep primers, uh, face primers, eyeshadow primers, setting sprays. Like, so the one thing I know I will always keep is my Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. I have this one and I have a backup of this because this is my favorite thing ever. I think it might be time that I part with this. Do you guys remember when this was like a primer hack? Everyone on YouTube was using this uh, Monistat chafing gel as a primer because, I mean, this is literally just pretty much straight up silicone. Same thing with this. Remember when the Nivea Post Shave Balm primer was like the biggest hack ever? So I have these. This one's old, so I'm probably going to get rid of this, but I'll keep my Nivea Shave Balm. I really like it. I just wish this wasn't so damn big. Like, it literally takes up half of my bin. Okay, so this is what this is looking like. I actually just took some of this out and tested it on the back of my hand, and it feels exactly the same as it always has, so I think it's fine, so I'm going to hang on to it. Um, but this actually, everything in here fits a little bit better than it did. I didn't really take much out, though. The only thing I'm going to get rid of is this little sample of this Ipkin primer, which I've used most of this up anyway, so... I'm going to let go of that. This um, actually got kind of old and started like separating when you squeeze it out. So I think this is expired. This e.l.f. eyeshadow primer I've probably had for like 10 years. So that definitely needs to go. And then this is an Ulta um, tinted eye primer. It's like a colored eye primer, which I'm just not crazy about those. So I'm going to get rid of that too. So then the last thing that I keep in that drawer is this little bin of like colored eyeliners um it's honestly just a ton of nyx jumbo eye pencils and then some other like weird colored liners so i'm probably gonna keep most of these um because i really only use these for like certain occasions like for um moving to like costume makeup or anything kind of weird like that um so i don't really ever get rid of these because they kind of just hide in the back of my drawer and um they're kind of out of sight but when i need them i like to have them and I don't really think any of these need to be thrown away. So I think I'm going to pretty much keep everything in here. Except maybe this. This looks kind of gross. Yeah, let's get rid of that. So this is what this drawer looks like. It's actually got like a ton of like space back here. So if we have anything else we need to store, we might be able to add it in here. Okay, so next we have a bl like blush, bronzer, highlight. Those are some of my favorite things. So I, I really don't see myself getting rid of probably any of these but I'm gonna go through them just to be sure look how much better like everything fits in here I even have like you know perfect little space for my milk bronzer so I actually think that this is Perfect. All right, so now I'm just looking through some of my highlighters. Alright, so that bin is all filled. Everything honestly fits really, really nicely in here. The only thing is, I just have a couple that don't fit, which I freaking love. I love these loose highlighters. And then, of course, Anastasia Amrezi and the Smashbox Casey Holmes highlighter palette. I have those. I'm, I'm only just getting rid of a couple here. Um, this wet my one just sucks, so I'm going to get rid of that. This is a cream highlighter from Essence, and I really don't mind it, honestly. I just don't use cream highlighters a ton, and if I do, I just use my Milk Lipstick. So, and that's kind of the same thing for this e.l.f. one. It's also cream. Um, this honestly just makes your face look, like, wet, like, looks like water, like, not in that good of a way. So, I just don't find myself ever reaching for most of those. So I'm just going to pass those on. Next up we have blush. As you can see, I have 
quite a few. I'm, I'm not really probably going to get rid of any of these because I just love my blushes so much. These fit a lot nicer now, too. Everything's kind of nestled in here. Well, I'm only getting rid of a couple. I'm getting rid of this Revolution uh, blusher. Just because this is, is mostly just shimmery, as you can even kind of tell. Like, the only color is right over here. And your brush doesn't really pick up much of it, and it's honestly just really shimmery. So, I really don't need that one. This e.l.f. one is just super old and honestly not very pigmented. This NYX one, um, this is like a cream blush. Y'all, look at this swatch. That's that freaking hot ass pink. Like, I don't know what I was thinking. I definitely bought this like years ago. I don't know what I was thinking. This is way too hot pink for anyone to wear. And then lastly, I have this CoverGirl and Olay like cream blush. Um, this is actually a really, really pretty color. It's this like reddish color on my wrist right here. But it's just really old and it's kind of dried out and it's just like really bulky packaging. So I'm just going to pass this on. All right. So I actually used to not be able to fit my blush bronzers and highlighters all in one drawer. Um, just because there was a lot of overflow. And with the highlighters, obviously, I have a couple. Um, I put my Casey Holmes, my Amrezy, and a couple of the other ones over here kind of like next to the bins, which they fit perfectly. And that's kind of the only overflow that I have now, which is pretty awesome. The only problem with these drawers is that like they go pretty deep. Like there's quite a few products back here, but you just, the drawer doesn't come out far enough. So if I ever want to access those couple of back products, I'll just have to take a couple of these front ones out and slide everything forward but otherwise this will work so this is actually very exciting that these all fit in one drawer again so the next thing i have in the box is um my blush and bronzer and highlighter palette so some of these are strictly like highlighter or bronzer or blush palettes and then some are you know like the urban decay naked skin they're like bronzers and highlighters or you know a little bit of everything bronzers blush and highlighters so I keep these separate, um, and I think what I'm going to do, I used to have like my bronzers and my bronzer palettes in one drawer, my blushes and my blush palettes in one drawer, but I think what I'm going to do now is just keep it like I showed you with bronzers, blush, and highlighters in one drawer, and then keep all my face palettes in a separate drawer, so I think that's a little bit more organized. So a lot of these ones back here are some of my favorites. My Alexis Ren ColourPop bronzer is one of my favorites. Uh, my Kat Von D Shade and Light palette I love. My Tarte Park Avenue Princess palette I love, love. Um, I also really love this Tarte. Um, this was a holiday uh, blush palette last year. I freaking love this. So I think honestly all of this is staying. I think I'm just going to get rid of... This e.l.f. illuminating palette and this Naked Cosmetics like weird colored highlighter palette. Okay, so everything y'all just saw me throw in here is all um, either backups or just unopened product um, that I pretty much have yet to use, that I've picked up, and it's just, especially mascaras, I usually grab them, but I don't like to open them until I've used a couple more up. Just some sponges that I haven't used yet, like I told y'all I have a backup of this Cover Effect spray, um, my favorite BB cream, I just have a ton, as y'all saw, a ton of stuff in here. Um, so what I think I'm gonna do is keep it in this really pretty um, makeup bag, and then I just loaded in all of the uh, blush and bronzer and highlight palettes that we just went through. Um, but I have like a ton of space back here, and I used to just have all those backups kind of cluttered around in here um, with my other like makeup bags and just some like miscellaneous stuff that I keep in here. But since I have all this extra space now, I think it just makes more sense to keep them all together in this bag and then oh my gosh my hand is so swatched <laughs> but I think it just makes more sense to keep them all in here so they're all organized they don't like go missing in that drawer 
and then I can keep them in the back there so they're kind of out of the way um, but I'm making good use of this empty space back here so I'm liking how this drawer is looking now I think this is super like functional and everything's like really easy to see um, which sometimes with these palettes is a little hard to do so I'm really happy with this and then just in case y'all were curious in this drawer I just have um, like kind of like I showed you a bunch of makeup bags and um, this little random birch box just has some miscellaneous stuff like my tanning goggles some of my like belly button and nose piercing um, piercings and stuff like that so that box kind of just miscellaneous but kind of like beauty-ish related um so I just keep some of this stuff and I actually also keep I actually have a couple pairs of my backup um glasses in here <laughs> kind of random but I keep those in here too so yeah that's this drawer not that exciting um the only drawer oops the only drawer that we haven't really ventured into yet is this one and this one um this one I actually keep my nail polish in and I have a whole box of nail polish um but y'all probably don't care about that so I'm just gonna do that um, you know off camera and then as for this drawer um, this is where I keep all my palettes like I told you I have a massive bin of palettes right now and um, I don't think I'm gonna be decluttering them because I've gone through them fairly recently um but I think I want to do a whole separate video of my like eyeshadow palette like collection um, and then I'll put them away in that video just so it's not like a two-hour video and that might just be a little bit more interesting for certain people so um, I'll probably do that second like after this video so if y'all are interested definitely stay tuned and make sure you're subscribed so that you see that okay guys so that is everything for this video I hope y'all enjoyed seeing some of my collection the organization process the decluttering hopefully this maybe inspires you to declutter or maybe just to kind of get yourself organized or maybe you got some ideas or something who knows I mostly just wanted to get my shit together and put it on camera for you guys so I hope you all enjoyed if you would like to subscribe we would love to have you we have so much fun here and until next time I will see y'all in our next video bye guys